Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the press, and welcome to the monthly briefing of the Peace and Security Council. It is therefore my pleasure to present the statutory report of the activities of the Peace and Security Council and the State of Peace and Security in Africa for the month of May 2022 under Cameroon's chairship as prescribed by Article 7.2 of the PSC Protocol and Section 62 of the, our own working methods. It was the seventh time Cameroon was chairing the PS and Security Council since its inception in 2004 and was also the second chairship of the new council after this, its own election in February 2022. I therefore use this opportunity to thank the PSC Cheoka comprising the Republic of Burundi, the outgoing chair for the month of April, and the Republic of Congo, the current chair for June. I equally thank the entire new council members for their support during the month under consideration. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, with regard to the activities of the PSC for the month of May 2022, Cameroon presented 10 substantive topics for consideration in six days, which included a briefing on the humanitarian actions in Africa and the attack on the Burundian contingent of the AU peacekeepers in Somalia on the 4th of May 2022, a briefing on transnational organized crimes and security in Africa on the 6th of May 2022, an open session on food security and conflicts in Africa on the 9th of May 2022, an open session on living together in peace on the 17th of May 2022, a briefing on the control of illicit small arms and light weapons in Africa on the 18th of May 2022, and a briefing on the situation in the Lake Chad Basin on the 31st of May 2022. Two of our original topics were dropped. First, the briefing on the situation in the Central African Republic because we felt the ministerial conference on the humanitarian situation in that country of the 25th to 27th of April held in Yaoundé had sufficiently dealt with the, the issues we wanted to address as enshrined in the Yaoundé Declaration. And second, the briefing on civil-military relations in Africa because of lack of time. As could be seen from the substantive meetings, the overriding objective of Cameroon's chairship was to enable the PSC contribute to the AU's 15th and 16th extraordinary summits in Malabo on humanitarian actions, terrorism, and unconstitutional changes of government in Africa. For instance, the meetings, the meeting of the 4th of May on humanitarian action in Africa and that of the 9th of May on conflicts and food security respectively contributed directly to the 15th Extraordinary Summit. On the other hand, the meeting of, on the transnational organized crimes of the 6th of May and that on small arms and light weapons of the 18th of May contributed to the 16th extraordinary meeting on ter terrorism and unconstitutional changes of government. Finally, the PSC Open a meeting on living together in peace of the 17th of May 2022 recognized the prominent role of the government of Angola in promoting a culture of peace and national reconciliation in Africa.
It was therefore gratifying when the 16th Extraordinary Summit in Malabo appointed President Yao Lusenko of Angola as the AU champion on peace and national reconciliation. Apart from these substantive meetings at ambassadorial level, Cameroon's chairship of the PSC was also marked by the active participation of the PSC subsidiary bodies, namely the Committee of Experts and the Military Staff Committee. The Committee of Experts, for instance, held three important activities in May 2022. First was the training seminar of the 12th to the 15th of May 2022 in Debrezet on the working methods, mandates, and um, as well as conflict analysis. Second was the preparatory meeting for the fifth joint retreat and 13th joint consultative meeting between the AU Peace and Security uh, Council and the EU Peace and Security Committee to take place on the 9th and 10th of June 2022, that is today and tomorrow. And third was the meeting to examine the 2023 proposed budget of the PSC, which was also extended to an examination of the proposed budget for the Department of Political Affairs, Peace and Security. On its part, the Military Staff Committee of the PSC, which was reactivated under Cameroon's chairship, examined the proposed structure and functioning of the AU's continental logistic base on the 19th of May 2022, although the structure had earlier been approved on the 13th of May 2022 by the Subcommittee on Structural Reforms. The PSC also benefited from the meeting of the Specialized Technical Committee on Defense, Security and Safety um, of the, the 9th to the 12th of May 2022, whose outcome were factored into the Malabo Summit. Finally, Cameroon, as chairperson of the month of May 2022, represented and assumed spokemanship on behalf of the Council on three occasions. First, during its statutory monthly consultative meeting with the chairperson of the UN Security Council and US permanent representative to the UN, Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield, on the 13th of May 2022. Second, during the preparatory consultative meeting with the Chair of the EU Peace and Security Committee, Her Excellency Ambassador Delphine Pronk, on the 19th of May 2022. And third, during the 16th Extraordinary Summit of the 28th of May, when the Chair of the PSC, at the level of Heads of State, His Excellency Paul Bia, made a statement read by the Prime Minister, Head of Government, Chief Dr. John Gute. I use this opportunity to heartily thank the promoters of the extraordinary summit in Malabo, namely the governments of Equatorial Guinea, Algeria, and Angola. I thank particularly the Republic of Equatorial Guinea for a splendid hosting, hospitality, and demonstration of Pan-Africanism. On the whole, all these meetings under Cameroon's chairship led to 10 outcome doc documents comprising one press release, two press statements, four communiques, two summary records of proceedings, and one report to the PRC which I presented yesterday. 
They also led to three reports of the Committee of Experts and contributed significantly to the outcome of the Malabo Summit. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, with regard to the state of peace and security in Africa, Cameroon's chairship in May 2022 came under a context of crisis, celebrations and changes at the global, continental and national levels. At the global level was the war in Ukraine with enormous security, financial and economic challenges for Africa. The month of May was also marked by the celebrations of international days, the most relevant to our chairship being the World Red Cross Day, the 8th, the 8th of May, the International Day of Living Together, the 16th of May, the World Day for Cultural Diversity, the 18th of May, and the International Day of UN Peacekeepers, the 29th of May. The celebration of this last day became significant to the PSC because our inaugural meeting of the 4th of May 2022 coincided with the attack on the Burundian AU peacekeepers in Somalia by the Al Shabaab group. At the level of the AU, where the commemoration on the 4th of May 2022 of the 30th anniversary of its cooperation with the International Committee of the Red Cross on Humanitarian Actions. And also was the commemoration of Africa Day on the 25th of May 2022. This provided us with an opportunity to reflect on the theme of the year centered on nutrition food security and resilience. The climax of Cameroon's chairship in May 2022 was, however, the PSC participation in the meetings in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea, between the 23rd and the 28th of May 2022, which brought together the AU security and governance architectures. These meetings included the fourth ordinary session of the STC on migration, refugees and internally displaced persons of the 23rd and the 24th of May 2022. The extraordinary Executive Council on Humanitarian Actions, Terrorism and Non-Constitutional Changes of Government of the 25th of May 2022 the 15th Extraordinary Summit on Humanitarian Actions and the Pledging Conference of the 27th of May 2022 and the 16th Extraordinary Summit on Terrorism and Constitutional Changes of Government of the 28th of May 2022. Above all, May, 22, May 2022 was of significance to Cameroon's chairship as the 20th of May 2022 marked the commemoration of the country's 50th anniversary of its National Unity Day. This provided an opportunity for us to share experiences on living together in peace with other African countries. I cannot conclude this report without highlighting three issues related to peace and security in the continent during the month of May, which were carried forward to the June 2022 chairship. These are, first, the Africa's position on the war in Ukraine, a position which was only articulated on the 3rd of June 2022 during the president Putin and President Makisal meeting in Sochi, which the chair of the PRC also alluded to in his opening remarks yesterday. 
Second, the ongoing misunderstanding between the sister countries of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the Republic of Rwanda, which was discussed during the Malabo summit and which is currently at the level of our heads of state. And the fifth joint retreat and the 13th joint consultative meeting of the AU Peace and Security Council and the EU Peace and Security Committee scheduled for the 9th and the 10th of June 2022. That is today and tomorrow. All said and done, the Cameroon month at the PSC ended on a note of optimism, especially after the Malabo declaration and decisions on humanitarian action, terrorism, and unconstitutional changes of government in Africa. The optimism was even very visible as the pledging conference harvested over $170 million to fund humanitarian actions in the continent. It is therefore on that note of optimism that I handed over the baton to my brother, Ambassador Daniel Awasa of the Republic of Congo, the current chair of the Peace and Security Council for the month of June 2022. I thank you for your kind attention.